So, so the purpose of a the purpose of a Freire model is to help us solve a the word problem. Uh, when when we when we use a Freire model, it helps us do what to the word problem to number story. It helps us do what? Um, Remember the other video we saw? Yeah, yeah. It helps us do what? Understand the word problem, okay? What else? Helps us. Memorize the word problem. We don't have to memorize it, but we do have to. Circle it and underline the keyword. Yes. To solve it. Solve it by organi organizing our information. Um, so. So that's how it helps us. Give me a second, guys. Uh, our first step. Our first step was to circle, find the question. The easiest way to find a question, the easiest way to find a question is to find a question mark. So what we do is we, we circle the question mark all the way to the period. Good. Okay. There's our question. <coughs> now, now we have to get that information and put it in box number one. Which we'll do. So, how long is the Wong River? So that's what I want to find out is how long is the Wong River? Yes, go ahead, write that. So, but before I move on to each box and 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 uh, go hit the word problem. I need to find out, uh, I need to organize all this information that's here for me. And I need to put it in box one, box two, box three, and box four. And, and we will work our, our way towards an answer that way. So before we start box number two, we need to find, we need to... Um, Look at it. Study it. Box number two. What I know. I know that, and we find a verb. For now, let's ignore the verb part. But number. In box number two, you put information About which with numbers. Okay? All right? And also, we will be identifying what those numbers are talking about, which is the subject like a subject and a predicate type in, in reading and writing? Well, a number is followed by a subject. So, going back to our question. Now, let's read the, the, the question. The Nile in Africa is about 4,160 miles long. The Wong River in Asia is about 800 miles shorter than the Nile. How long is the Wong River? So, we already wrote our question. Now I'm going to put n information with numbers in box number two. What is the first number? What is the first number, uh, Jasmine? 4,060. So 4,160, right? Um, Oh, you guys don't have this particular one? No. What is the 4,160 talking about? Uh, the, um. Yes, it is miles we're talking about. So the subject will be miles. You notice how I have subjects, subject or units. So 4,160 miles. Now, I'm going to skip the verb part. And I'm going to work on them together. Uh, now, let's go to the next set of numbers we see. It's going to be in the other sentence. The Wong River in Asia is about 800 miles shorter than the Nile. Do, do you guys see numbers? 800 the other number, right? 800. 800 what? Miles. Miles. Now, let's go back to the verb. And again... Uh, I want you to box in the numbers because 
That is very, numbers are very, very important. Okay, now, we need to identify the verb. What is a verb? So the verb is an action word, a word that shows action. So in here, the Nile in Africa is about 4,160 miles long. What is the verb there? So to, so to find the verb, we need to go word by word. The. Nile. Nile. In. No. Africa. No. Is. Yes. Here's our verb. That's our verb. Okay, so the Nile in Africa is about 4,160 miles long. Now, the Wong River in Asia is, so we put 800 miles. Now, we are going to connect this verb to these 800 miles, and I, we're going to connect this is to 4,160 miles. All right, that's box number two. If you're asking yourself, why are we doing all this? Why are we filling all this out? Why do you think? Well, we're, when we went over the, the steps to solve a, a problem, we had to understand understand the, que the what we had to do. This is going to, by organizing, which is another part of the plan, by organizing our work, we will be able to understand what we have to do. Now, box three. In box three, you can put a picture, a sketch, or show your work. I'm going to go with a picture for now. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the Nile. The Nile is how long? 4,150 miles Now I'm going to make sure that I label it Nile River. And it's 4,160 miles long. Now, how long is the other river? The Wong. So should it be longer, shorter, the same size? Shorter. Shorter. The Wong River, yes. And that is 800 miles long. Now, let me give you a little hint. I'm going to go back and read the question. And... I want you to pay close attention to that word. The Nile in Africa is about 4,160 miles long. The Wong River in Asia is about 800 miles shorter than the Nile. How long is the Wong River? Anytime that you hear the word then, about. then, that means you subtract. You subtract, you subtract, that. you subtract. Anytime you see the word then, automatically you subtract. So, since we know that then means to subtract, what do I have to do next, Stephen? What do we do with that word then now? Now that we know we have to subtract, what's my next step? I already have my picture. I can show work here, or I can go ahead and write the number model there on the fourth box. Oluchi, go ahead. Um, uh huh. So you get 4,160, subtract 800 from that, right? And we'll get our answer. Go ahead, go ahead, do the math. So the answer. 4,160, take away 800, 0 take away 0, 0, 6 take away 6, 6, 6 take away 0, I mean? Borrow, 